cervical cancer, right? Cervical cancer, the size of a grapefruit. Can you feel it? When I put my finger uh, up my vagina, I feel it. Oh, let's see, okay. Well, went to the doctor, said I was close to being legally blind. I heard about J.O. Uh, only three weeks before I actually came. I'd never heard of him before, and uh, within a month I was here. I got here because a friend of mine, a friend of mine told me that I could be cured um, by this man, Jean Jadeus, John of God. My friend Isaac had uh, a friend, well actually it was his, it was his capoeira um, master who had been cured of hepatitis C. The first day I saw him on the Wednesday morning, he told me operation at 2 o'clock and uh, he uh, used no instruments, he had just used his fingers and his hands and he pinched, he went like this and uh, on, my, on my whole abdomen and then with his four fingers of his right hand he went in on this side, on my left side and uh, I had a scar a, at a right angle that was like swollen and pinkish for like four hours and uh, I have had, I can count, 18 operations since I've been here in the three weeks. So I came here and uh, I had a surgery on my left eye. I think we have that zoom going on, which is doing a lot better. And when you say surgery, what does that mean? Surgery, a physical surgery. What did he um, do? He took a, what I thought was a scalpel, but turned out to be a berry knife. <laughs> and put his hands in my eye and Watch your eye. scraped the side of my eye. So we say, well, like a pointy scraping of the eye as well. Almost like he was connecting the dots or something. And um, it's kind of painful, um, but when I was wheeled off to the infirmary. I realized just how painful it really would have been without the anesthesia from the entities. So I came back in now in October. I've been here five weeks, and uh, the first week he operated on me visibly because I always ask for a visible operation, and he put the seven inches hemostat, which is about this long, in my left nostril all the way up. <laughs> I couldn't tell you if it was if it went up, if it went straight, if it went down, I don't know, but I didn't feel anything. But then he twisted it and when he twisted it it hurt, but he only did it like twice. And sometimes he does it a lot to people. He just winds it and winds it and winds it. And then when he took it out, it didn't bleed at all. And some people, when he takes it out, it just bleeds a lot. But to me, it didn't bleed at all. And uh, with this technique, I hear he, he heals 27 different diseases. So, And then when he scrapes the eyes, I hear he heals 25 different diseases from those 27, but you know, God knows if those are rumors or if it's true. But then I felt much better afterwards, much better. I noticed two days after my, hey, how you doing? Two days after um, my surgery, that I, I noticed at a close distance that I was seeing things a little more clearly with my left eye, and my left eye was a lot worse than my right. So I haven't seen any change since then, but for two days after surgery, that's not too shabby. I did notice too in my left eye where I had the physical surgery that the colors seem more vivid, brighter. Like when you're a kid, everything is so colorful and everything, and as you grow older, it seems like your your sense is dull, and so it's definitely sparked up, intensified my senses. Personally, I felt like I would see a quicker change, more effective change getting a physical surgery, even though they tell you, you know, you can get a, uh, you know, invisible surgery and it'll be just as potent. Might take a little longer. But. Right. 
So it must be encouraging that already the eyesight's improved oh, this yeah, much. Oh yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. And give you hope for your right eye too. Huh? Yes, I'm. I'm really keeping the holding that vision that you know I'm gonna not have to wear anything and just wake up like the baby I was and be able to see everything all clearly. Definitely. Bless you. I wish that for you. Mm, thank you. <laughs> and the following week. He gave me another operation, and again it was visible, and he cut, this time on the other side. So when he did the first operation in June, it was on my left side. When he cut, this time it was on the other side. cut about this much right here and I felt the knife but you know it's like if as if I had long nails and I would you know run my nail really deep on your skin you would feel it and then it did two stitches and the first one I didn't feel anything but the second one hurt so much that I had to scream and I was almost going to pass out so some people you know feel nothing some people feel something it's very individual and uh, I've had to take uh, Advil since January because I had pain like a bad period, like all the time, all day long, all night long. And I took several Advils every day, every night for 10 months, you know, constantly. And then when um, he, did, he cut, after he cut, that was three weeks ago, I haven't taken any Advil anymore and no pain. So that's incredible you know three weeks without pain it's uh, really incredible <laughs>